हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर्टो कॉन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर आई एम गोविंद एंड आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड टू बी हेयर टूडे प्रेजेंटिंग रिमोटली आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑर्गेनाइजर फॉर गिविंग मी अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर अटेंडिंग आर्टो कॉन लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ जेनरिक इन्फो अबाउट द टॉपिक and about me so the topic of presentation is reversing flutter applications specifically using r2 and frida and we are going to see a demo application and try to bypass the ssl pinning using r2 and frida uh, that's the main motive of the this talk so here is little information about me my name is govind sharma and i'm working as mobile security engineer at thales and i'm also known as epic and packer uh, my daily job include pen testing android and ios applications i focus on finding vulnerability and performing code audit and doing risk assessment for our application so in this talk we need to get two tools one is of course r2 which can be installed using apt uh, this is generic command it works fine in linux but on mac os it can be installed using brew and on windows it can be downloaded from github the direct binaries and the frida can be installed on all the platform using pip so the agenda of talk is we will get a application from device and we will decompile it uh then we'll try to analyze native libraries using r2 and we'll try to find the secret stuff whatever matters for us and at the end we will hook the application using frida to bypass the things in this case the ssl pinning a little bit in for about the flutter that uh, it's open source framework by google for building cross platform apps so it can generate multi platform applications from a single code base uh, a little bit more info about the uh, things in flutter that the language used in flutter is known as dart it is object oriented programming language with c style syntax as you can see in the example it's c style syntax but of course not c it have tons of different types of functions and features and keywords like the await uh if you define any variable with await it will wait for things to complete then it will return similar like that there is keyword let and let is used to indicate a variable is initialized later in this case we defined the data using let and it is initialized later Uh, let's back to reversing that uh, we need to check the application on the device so let's start with application uh for that purpose i connected my rooted device and i'm using scr cpy to cast my screen on the macos 
so this is a demo app built with flutter and it include ssl pinning so when we open the application it try to load some jokes uh, in this case you can see that jokes are loaded fine but we if we close the application and try to intercept the network traffic in this case i am using proxy pin application uh, it is open source application uh, on github uh, yeah. uh, it is available for different platform as well so i am using on android itself so i can capture the traffic if it try to intercept the application in this case I enable the app whitelist so it will only capture the data from the or application and it will remove all the white noise from other application if we start the application now it says that uh, handshake exception and certificate verify failed uh, it's because the interceptor is on so it does not manage to connect with server because the certificate is different on our device so from the step let's pull application using a db We need to get the package name of application so we can do a db cell pm list package to filter out the application uh, it's listed all the system apps the demo effect we need to filter out the user application not this one uh, yeah here we go so the package name of our target application this funny bone and we need to get the application of it let's suppose that it's installed from the play store so we need to pull from the device so we need to get the path of application uh, PM path of our target application uh, it will show the object path where it's installed so we need to pull the application using adb pull and it's successfully pulled and available in in our device uh, let's okay so we got our pass application now next step will include decompiling it uh, we are dealing with flutter so we only focus on the native libraries and for that purpose we can directly unzip as dot apk is kind of chip file so let's unchip it uh, in a directory okay uh, and let's see if we got our things uh, yes we get our native libraries for this demo we are only focusing on arm 64 so let's focus on arm 60 only and we need to load the binaries in r2 
so what we currently did is we check the status that application throw error on the phone if we try to intercept the traffic and we pull the device application from the device and we unzipped it and got our native libraries now time to put into r2 uh, for SSL part uh, the things stays in leaf flutter.so uh, it's a elf binary it doesn't include any dart code or vm things so most of our ssl pinning or other stuff rendering text and plugins are present in leaf flutter so we need to reverse the leaf flutter.so instead of lib app.so uh, and let's load lib flutter into R2 and analyze it. Ah, uh, the question mark is used to check the time at the end that how much time it taken to analyze the binary. Uh, let's wait for analyze to complete it generally take one or two minutes his binary is approx 10 megabyte wait a little bit more keeps analyzing the last part okay so it taken 74 seconds kind of one minute and above uh, for SSL pinning or this type of stuff in flutter we generally look on the strings first for strings we need to use IJ command and hyphen is used to filter out or things so we need to filter out only SSL related things Okay, so we got some few hits. Are these two things uh, looks familiar? Uh, let's let's check the source code of boring SSL. Uh, because it is used in all the flutter application so we need to check for ssl server or ssl client uh, let's search in repo market is a string uh, we got few hits. Okay, here we go. SSL client and SSL server. Uh, let's analyze this function and see that if we can match the things in binary. So it's a session verify certificate chain function, uh, which include both the strings we got from R2 as this function is responsible for checking if certificate is valid or not as Flutter doesn't trust on system or user certificate 
if we manage to find this function in binary we can change the return value so let's jump to this string uh, before jumping to the things let's check out the commands we generally used uh, the f command we generally list all the flags uh, like this uh, it contain lots of things but we still can the print we print all the flags import export whatever available in the binary and the next c command will be used to jump on certain location let's say i want to jump on this location so we can use the c command uh, the next command is pdf uh, as we jump to a random place uh, i'm not sure if it's a valid place for a function yeah so the one two three four five address is not a correct place for a function so let's jump to a different location again it's also not a function either it's location of string uh, we can disassemble the things using pd command let's disassemble five instruction and <clears throat> we can see that our ssl server string is present at this address and it have re x reference from this function uh, as we check the source uh, that uh, if we can locate this function we can bypass the pinning so let's check the x reference of it and we got our one hit so this function have our ssl server or client strings let's jump to it using c command and we are on our target function using pdf we can disassemble now because it's a valid function uh, let's check out number of argument uh, it's taking three argument and our source also taking three argument uh, but those are typo pointer and we are getting in so it's okay we get our strings here so if we can hook this function we can bypass the error so uh, let's code a freda script to hook this address uh, before creating script we can check out the list of other generic command uh, the a we used at start as uh, a substitution for capital a and af can be used to rename <coughs> sorry can be used to define a function at certain offset and afl can be used to list out all the function and ie shows the entry point of the binary this address was shown to us when we first loaded the binary to r2 and is can show the symbols and we don't have any script to run at the moment but we can run the script using dot command and then appending the script name using art.js and slash x can be used to find some bytes uh, let's say we need to find some bytes 
and we got over too much hits because it's a generic byte we can change it to something obvious because it's an order um, okay it's not valid pair so let's see if we can hit we got some hit so using slash x we can search the byte the byte pair sorry so we managed to get the reference of string and we get our certificate verify field so we need to keep attention on file name and line number because they can help us in identifying the exact function in boring SSL this function okay you can see that it's on line 393 but we are not going on this line yet we are going to hook our SSL server in reference function mm. Let's jump to this function. If we decompile it, uh, it got three parameter and some assignment of value at start. <coughs> um, this is assigning some values we can double check with the source as well <coughs> that what's uh, internal error if we search on google um, it is defined as tls on add internal error and the value of its 80 <coughs> And we are getting in hex uh, so we can quickly calculate on calculator that <coughs> if we calculate 50 and decimal it's 80 so we are in correct function at the moment and we need to hook this function and for that purpose we need to create Freda script Uh, let's start creating Frida script. For the native libraries, uh, linker load them one by one. So we need to wait for libraries to load or we can attach later. In this case, the error comes at starting point. So we need to wait for libraries and then hook it. For that purpose, we need to hook on dl open or dl open external uh, let's code a script and this is autocomplete We need to hook on Android DL open function. Okay, and in on enter. We need to check the argument if our library is loaded or not. 
so all libraries include in argument one So now our library variable contains all the library's name which are loaded and we need to check if it contain leaf flutter and if library includes leaf flutter then we can start our hooks so let's store variable which we will use in on leave so this variable will only true when library is loaded let's come to on leave and we need to check if or variable is true or not if it's true we can start our hook here so let's find our module so why it's auto completing uh, process find module by name we can copy the name so at this moment we will have our module uh, the leaf flutter module and memory and we need to attach on this offset so this is module and we are calculating a space address then we are adding our offset which we just found from r2 we directly check the on enter we doesn't care about what is in on leave we care about only on leave it doesn't care about on enter so uh, let's keep it later and try to print the value can give it a name so our script is ready for first pass uh, let's run Frida name which is funny bond dot stg and then we need to hook it and our script is ssl okay so we got our hit as written value zero so it means that a certificate trust is failed we need to force it through to make it proceed further so let's modify the script with value 1 and if we 
reload the application uh, this time or SSL pinning is bypassed and our interceptor is still running we can confirm by checking it and if we check the response we can see that it's successfully able to fetch the jog from server so we managed to bypass pinning after analyzing SSL server string so what can happen in case this <coughs> method doesn't work uh, like we are not able to directly intercept on this or something other happen so if you analyze this function on the source code <coughs> we can see that in include handshake things and before returning it's setting some error so if we see on decompiled output this u variable line looks interesting because it's setting true value while other it's setting some false so this function can be interesting for use case so let's go to this offset uh, let's jump to this offset it's a small code but I have 24x reference you can check using axt command so we need to check in one of them if that function include the handshake part okay or handshake okay so handshake cc uh, remember the line number and file name it is coming from handshake cc 393 so let's go to 393 uh, this line so this function is known as verify peer certificate and it includes a mem compare uh, all the stuff so we need to find this handshake function from one of them so let's analyze one by one for example this one if we jump to this one we check uh, this doesn't look like and check one okay then we can check other as well for originals we can ignore the no functions after checking one by one if we take this example I'm just taking this one because I performed the analysis early just to save time but if we try from scratch we need to analyze one by one uh, in my case I found this function so let's jump to this and it's quite big so we can disassemble it we can see that it include main compare uh, same as your function so you can 
seeds <coughs> decompile code as well then I come mem compare and all the stuff so we need to patch on this address in case or <coughs> this function is failed we can patch on this function okay we are already on this function i think ah yes and we can disassemble file instruction so we can directly patch it here we can just move zero and direct return so this function will be sh skipped okay let's code another function uh, function patch which take address as argument and we need to patch two things uh, for that purpose we start a new R terminal just start a empty instance of r2 here we can test any command without affecting our binary so we need to move x0 have a value 0 oh sorry wf for writing command so we get our first bytes for this instruction then we need to check for return why am i wrong uh, maybe it's demo effect uh, so we got our 8 bytes So we need to patch on this address so let's address to write byte array byte array is used to write new hex pair on certain offset so we are directly writing here First, we need to pass the move values, then the return values. So it doesn't take directly hex pair, so we need to define them as a hex. You can quickly define it uh, like this one. I think we can skip those zeros but anyway let's go uh, so what we are doing is we are patching the routine of this function which we found that it is handshake function and we are moving zero values and directly returning so we can skip this function if we comment down this previous code we can patch and let's give it address okay we are not fixing the verify certificate chain this time 
instead of directly patching in handshake function uh, let's try and see if it works or not okay App. okay so let's start again uh, we get some access violation while patching this address so we can fix these things by changing memory protection uh, Frida provides some API for it uh, let's change protection for this address for 8 bytes we can make it readable writable and executable so we can make runtime changes and let's try again okay okay so this time we managed to Pass the handshake bytes and able to capture the same things the jokes and let's see if he missed anything so we get reference of SSL server then we match the code with boring SSL. We look, looked on the line number and error code as well. Then we try to patch the verify certificate chain. So if this doesn't work, we go on for more lower level function in handshake CC and patch there. And at the end we hooked it. So that was for this presentation, hope you like it and understand it and at the end thanks to Pancake, Cryptex and Abida Model for helping me, uh, especially the Pancake who organized and started our book on yeah thank you bye bye everyone